Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager and in this video I'm gonna show you how to install our WP Event Manager's REST API on your WordPress environment. So in our previous video I introduced you to the REST API plugin and I told you as well it's an open source and free of cost plugin that you can install on your WordPress environment to control your WP Event Manager specific task from an external service. Okay, so to get started we can go to the WP Event uh, Manager REST API repository. So this link I'll leave in the description so you can directly click from there okay and to get started I'm gonna download the release from here but before that let me tell you this uh, we are in process to get this plugin into WordPress plugin repository so users will be able to install the plugin from add new and search for WP Event Manager REST API and install it from there with one click okay but meanwhile if you want to install WP Event Manager REST API, you can just visit this GitHub page and you can download the release from here. Okay, so latest version as of now is version 1.0.1. .1. So let's download that. And over here, you will have to download the source code zip. Okay, so let's download that as well. And now we're going to upload this to our uh, WordPress environment like we do for our other add-ons when we download it from our official website. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Let's go to plugins and then add new. And over here, we're going to click on upload plugin and we're going to drop it over here. Then click install now. Okay, so after that, we have to activate the plugin, not with a license, but the standard activation procedure. So we can just click on activate plugin. And that's it. That activated our REST API for WP Event Manager in this website. How to verify? You can go to Event Manager, then REST API. So it will be visible here. And over here, you can control the REST API settings, API access, and app branding. So the app branding, of course, for the companion app that we have released. So we will talk about more about the settings over here and how to control them and what values to accept out of them uh very shortly okay so if you have any confusion about the installation process let me know in the comment i'll be sure to help you out in there and if you don't want to like go through these all steps to install the plugin so this is a manual way to do it as you can see but yeah we are in process to avail the plugin in the wordpress plugin repository so you can use it or like install it from there with one click as well but meanwhile if you want to install the rest api plugin you can just download it from here in the github page but yeah worry not this will be auto update compatible when we release a higher version of the rest api in wordpress.org you will be able to update from there automatically as well okay so that pretty much concludes this video if you let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful and what else you will like to see in this channel and until next time i'm sure saying goodbye thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one